our way of life is so much better than your disgusting, dangerous society. That's just a matter of fact if you ask a Norwegian. Hallelujah. In Norway, it's not allowed to brag about yourself. That's social suicide. Correct. But we are indoctrinated from we are children to brag about the Norwegian culture. You know, Norway is the best country in the world. You should so poor Norway. you foreigner who have met me preach about the glory of Norway. Today we're gonna scrape the surface and see what lies behind that self-boasting of Norwegians and meet a very famous Norwegian that reveal the shocking and grim truth about Norway today. It's so sad. So when, for instance, I meet an American, I'm gonna preach you about Norway. I'm gonna tell you how safe Norway is, how peaceful, how lovely and it calm. Is. We have no danger. We have no crime. US we are don't dangerous. lock our doors when we go to sleep at night. No. We leave, we let our children go out in the street to yeah, play. Come on. Yes. Our police doesn't wear arms. No, 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 no. If you leave no. your mobile phone on this restaurant, I will pick it up. you will find it again. You lost 100 euros yesterday. Here you are. And when it comes to murder and heavy crime, that's the gangs. Because we Norwegians, we trust each other. I trust you. We want uh, each other to try. I love you. But. <laughs> so to the truth about Norway, scratching, what's behind that self uh, boasting? Well, it's a grim reality, actually, when it comes to crime and violence in Norway. No. And Mats, you were actually almost beaten to death, weren't you? That was an accident. No. People followed him from a bar home, and when he got inside his uh, courtyard, they actually kicked him in the head, and you had some serious problem. Yeah, like a one Norway off. is not that safe or secure or what we are boasting about. You know what's happening? This domestic violence what? is on the rise. Uh, murder, I'm sorry. And you know what? Before we thought it was only the gangs, but no, in 2024 we had four triple murders where white dudes, actually, grandparents or stepsons, killed, wiped out their whole Fake family. News. And the murder among gangs and other ones. Accidents. And then we have this. Drug consumption in Norway. We have too much money in this country, and just now there is like a cocaine wave into Norway. And what happens when it's too much money, too much drug? You're gonna have both drug overdose death. These days, oh my god, people are dying like flies. It's really sad, and it's not so safe and secure and calm as most Norwegian wanted to. But most politicians these days are talking about the youth crime because, of course, here we have, within this, we have immigrant children. Of course. Yes, and they then it's easy for us to go. All, all the prime minister, all the opposition politicians, they're like, oh, we're gonna take the youth crime and so on. Yeah, that's very good the of you. The foreigners. Because that's the problem. But Norway, it's not an immigrant problem when it comes to this violence. It's not only immigrants when it comes to domestic violence. And it's really not only immigrants when it comes to the terrorists. Oh, Since 2011, we had three terrorist attacks in Norway. Two of them were white dudes, Christian, kind of Nazi, disgusting Christians. One of them, he killed 77 people, mostly children. The other one, some years later, also white, also Christian. He only managed to kill his sister, adopted sister. And then he wanted to take his gun and shoot around in a mosque. But luckily, two old uh, Pakistani pensioners really knew how to handle him. And he didn't make any more harm. And the last terrorist some years ago, he was more like that Muslim international terrorist shooting at the pride uh, arrangement 
and killing luckily only two before people in the street really took him down. I thought you were going to brag about Norway. Yes, it's a peaceful society. And yes, compared to most other cities and countries in the world, still it's a low crime. But sorry, the arrows, they are not going down. They are going up. Oh, no, no, no. You've been listening yeah. to Putin no. here. Yeah, and yeah. can we... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And can we really brag about this safe and secure society anymore? It's safer than Colombia. Uh, uh, some more years, yes. But maybe not for so long. Shut up. Start being a Norwegian. Drop your society. I have to confess, I've been society. one of those uh, Norwegian preachers going Hallelujah. to South America to my family, it's Hallelujah. so embarrassing, or going to Portugal or Spain or going to Africa and Gambia oh, those and horrible trying countries. to convince these people about you have to change, you have to become oh. more like the Norwegian society oh, to prosper, to be good, the Hallelujah. best that you have. You know, guys from the UK or Sweden, we despite your class society, upper class, lower class, duchess and whatever duchesses. This is not Norway. In Norway, we have no class system. Everyone is equal. It's no big difference between rich people or poor people. That's the beauty. Norway. And if you are a bit poor, the government will take care of you. They will provide all the necessary things. Everyone has the same possibilities in Norway. Give we are just this more. lovely society without these problems. I couldn't help. Yeah, right. We are not a class a society. Oh my God, we are stupid. Norway is a effing ice cold society. Who paid you? No, let's say you are drug addicted. In Norway, you are not a human. You are a problem. And if you are, for instance, a, a foreign beggar in the street, you are we not. Love you. No, you are not a human. You are heir to us. <laughs> or if you, for instance, a third generation immigrant, let's say from Pakistan, you're we even a you. doctor or whatever, uh, you are kind of there, but not really included in our classless society. If you like work in a grocery shop, you do rubbish, you pick rubbish, or even being a teacher or a nurse, kind of, then mm, you're not that interesting in Norway. If you don't have money to buy your own uh, home, apartment or house or whatever, well, then you are quite down the ladder. You are a poor family, the welfare system gave you the money, but it's not enough. You end up in a f food queue. So it's just bull. Mm, to say that we don't have a class society. It's actually inhumane. And imagine you are poor in a rich country where everyone says there are no classes. Imagine how effing troublesome that must be for a child to grow up. But still we are out there preaching to other nations. Norway is the best country in the world. Do you know it? Become like us! And now we're gonna uh, tell you a story about a very famous Norwegian that really revealed how Norway has become. A disgusting class society fueled with crimes and drugs. Hallelujah! So what do you Hallelujah. brag about in your country? Leave us a comment and subscribe, push a like, that will help us or a dislike to make Norway great again. No, 
Long live the kingdom of Norway. Long live the royal family or not. And this guy, the son of the crown princess of Norway, not a prince, she was a single mother. He is the symbol of everything wrong in Norway today. He is a symbol of the crime and violence and the domestic violence that's happening in Norway now. He is the symbol of the drug use, the materialism. The police knew that he was a drug user, that his best friend were the biggest cocaine dealers in Norway. Did they get him and catch him like they do with everybody else? Yeah, they took No, him. no, because he's an upper class. They didn't. They called him and warned him. The only thing that they had to do because we suddenly knew that he was beating his girlfriend. Not only one, but two and three and maybe four. And then police had to do something. Of course. With this precious symbol of Norway. So Norway is not that paradise that I we... Heard, I no, heard. shut up. Norway is not that paradise that we are trying to convey you guys that we are or preaching to they you. They call them we a compromise. We are actually just like any other society in the Western world, except that we are more annoying to other people. Why, do you ask? Because we brag and brag and brag about this society that doesn't exist anymore. Go away. No, and I know you guys, now you are thinking, oh my God, I have to cancel my trip to Norway. I was going, maybe it's too dangerous. I go home. Actually, no, come back, come back tourist or foreigners. Because for one reason or another, the crime things and the violence and the drug, it doesn't concern uh, tourists, expats or foreigners in Norway. Angry. No, because we have no new stories about you guys being attacked or something like that. So you are welcome to Norway. And we have to take a look in our mirror before we start preaching to someone else about how good Norway is. Goodbye. Norway is the best country in the world. You should become more like Norway. We have the best uh, system. We have the best way of life here in Norway. <laughs> Do you think they believe it? <laughs> yeah.